ever pondered what it's like to live with PTSD? Post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD is a mental health condition that's triggered by exposure to traumatic events. These events can take on many forms from witnessing a natural disaster or a violent crime to experiencing intense personal abuse or neglect. It's not always about the battlefield or a catastrophic event. It can be as personal and hidden as enduring domestic violence or surviving a car crash. The trauma that seeds PTSD is as diverse as life itself, and it's a heavy burden to carry. It's a threat that poses a serious risk to one's mental and emotional well-being, a threat that can be profound and long-lasting. The impact of PTSD doesn't end when the traumatic event is over. It seeps into the everyday, transforming ordinary moments into triggers and casting long shadows over what used to be safe spaces. PTSD isn't just about surviving the trauma, it's about living with it every day. PTSD isn't a one-size-fits-all condition. It manifests in various ways. This condition, like a labyrinth, is characterized by a complex interplay of symptoms that can be categorized into three main clusters. Firstly, we have re-experiencing. Imagine being haunted by nightmares or flashbacks of a traumatic event. Intrusive thoughts or memories might suddenly spring up, causing a sense of reliving the horror and fear. This can be incredibly distressing, disrupting the flow of daily life. Secondly, avoidance comes into play. As a way of coping, individuals with PTSD often steer clear of anything that might remind them of their trauma. This could be people, places, situations, or even conversations. The result, it can lead to a sense of isolation and hinder their day-to-day -day functioning. Lastly, there's the hyperarousal cluster. Picture being on constant guard, a heightened state of awareness, difficulty concentrating, irritability, jumpiness, and sleep problems become unwelcome companions. It's like living life on the edge, making it challenging to feel safe and relaxed. Now, it's important to remember that not everyone will experience all these symptoms, and they may not present in the same way. Some might struggle more with flashbacks, while others might find the avoidance or hyperarousal symptoms more prominent. PTSD is like a labyrinth, a complex maze of symptoms that can feel overwhelming, but just as every labyrinth has a way out, there is hope for those navigating the PTSD maze. Recognizing these symptoms is the first step to understanding PTSD. It's about understanding that these reactions are not signs of weakness, but are instead the brain's natural response to traumatic events. So, if you or someone you know is experiencing these symptoms, remember, it's not a dead end. There are paths that lead to healing, and understanding the symptoms is the first step along that journey. With the right support and intervention, individuals can reclaim their lives and manage their symptoms effectively. Recognizing these symptoms is the first step to understanding PTSD. Ever wondered why PTSD happens to some and not others? The precise cause of PTSD remains somewhat of a mystery, but it's believed to be a complex interplay of several factors. Let's break it down. Genetics might predispose some individuals to be more susceptible to developing PTSD. Like hair color or height, our genetic makeup can influence our mental health. But it's not just about the genes we inherit. The nature of the traumatic event itself and one's personal coping mechanisms also play a significant role. Imagine two people experiencing the same traumatic event. One might walk away with few lasting effects while the other might develop PTSD. The difference often lies in how each person copes with the event. Further, experiencing multiple traumas or lacking social support can elevate the risk of developing PTSD. It's like adding fuel to a fire. The more trauma one experiences, the higher the risk. And without a strong support network, the flames of PTSD can burn unchecked. PTSD isn't a choice or a sign of weakness. It's a complex interplay of factors beyond one's control. Living with PTSD isn't a life sentence. There's hope and healing. Let's talk about that hope. That healing. One of the most encouraging things to remember is that PTSD is treatable. Yes, it's a condition that can be managed and individuals can reclaim their lives and manage their symptoms effectively. There are several key avenues for recovery that we can walk down. One of the most well-traveled is psychotherapy. Cognitive behavioral therapy, also known as CBT, is a well-established approach. It helps individuals process the traumatic event, develop coping skills and challenge negative thought patterns. But it's not the only road to recovery. Other therapy modalities like eye movement, desensitization and reprocessing, or EMDR, can also be beneficial. In some cases, medication can be a helpful companion on this journey. 
It can help manage specific symptoms like anxiety, depression or sleep disturbances. However, remember that medication alone isn't a cure for PTSD. It's a support, a tool to use in conjunction with therapy. And then there's self-care. This is a broad and beautiful landscape that includes healthy sleep habits, regular exercise, relaxation techniques and connecting with supportive loved ones. All of these are crucial aspects of self-care that can bolster resilience and promote healing. It's about taking care of your whole self, not just managing symptoms. But perhaps the most important thing to remember is that recovery is a holistic process. It's not just about treating symptoms, it's about reclaiming your life. It's about finding hope and healing, even in the wake of trauma. It's about understanding that you are more than your PTSD, that you have the strength and the resilience to heal. Recovery from PTSD is a journey, not a destination. It's about reclaiming control and living a fulfilling life, despite the trauma. So, what have we learned about living with PTSD? We've taken a journey through the labyrinth of PTSD, understanding the re-experiencing, avoidance and hyperarousal symptoms that characterize this condition. We've delved into why it occurs, acknowledging the complex interplay of genetic predisposition, the nature of the traumatic event and personal coping mechanisms. But most importantly, we've highlighted the beacon of hope that recovery provides. We've emphasized the effectiveness of psychotherapy, the potential assistance from medication and the importance of self-care in managing PTSD symptoms. Each of these avenues plays a significant role in the journey towards reclaiming your life. Above all, we've underscored that PTSD is a treatable condition and that seeking help is a vital step on the path to healing. Remember, PTSD is not a sign of weakness and seeking help is a testament to your strength. You're not alone in this journey.